Hey everyone, today we have some huge updates in Wrath Classic, including NPCs that steal your gold, free dual spec, and so much more. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more WoW content. Now let's get started with the new epic gems already in Phase 2, called Storm Jewels. These can be found from bags of fishing treasures from Marcia Chase in Dalaran. She has these daily fishing quests that will give you a chance to obtain a Storm Jewel. Now these Storm Jewels are epic gems that are now in phase two that give you a stat bonus higher than any of the other rare counterparts. And there's a storm jewel for every stat that you're looking for, the bold storm jewel for strength, delicate storm jewel for agility, and so on. I would recommend do your fishing dailies every day and try to get some of these storm jewels for a four point improvement over the rare counterparts. So for example, the bold Scarlet Ruby will give you 16 strength, but the bold Storm Jewel will give you 20 strength. And for example, the ruined Scarlet Ruby gives you 19 spell power, while the ruined Storm Jewel will give you 23 spell power. So that is the four point increase in stats over the Scarlet Ruby that you get from the Storm Jewel. On Benediction, these Storm Jewels are already selling for thousands of gold. So if you wanna get your Storm Jewel, which will be your best in slot gem, for one of your slots, go ahead and start doing your fishing dailies. Okay, moving on to number two, we have new Argent Tournament daily quests. Yeah, you probably know about gathering the lumber and gathering the stone, but did you know that you can already start practicing mounted combat? I mean, if that's your thing, which personally, I think it's a lot of fun, you can start doing that as well. And it's not for just gold. You actually can start ascending the ranks of the Argent Tournament, which is actually a time-gated activity. So if you kind of just disregard the Argent Tournament daily quests as just dailies. There's actually some value behind it. You do want to start ranking up with the Argent Tournament. Now, one of the quests does involve kissing frogs after applying some balm, and you have to actually type in slash kiss, so it can be kind of annoying. I'm going to give you a macro that I found on the internet in the description for you. You can just press that macro. It applies the balm and kisses the frog all at once, so you can get that daily quest on every day. Super easy without any extra steps. All right, moving on to number three, we have new item drops in Heroic Plus Dungeons. Now, if you're looking for a specific item of 10-man loot in Heroic Plus, it might be hard to know which boss drops what gear. Well, wonder no longer. In the description is a full spreadsheet detailing loot tables sorted by a boss so that you can hunt down exactly that piece of loot that you're looking for when you're doing Heroic Plus. All right, moving on to number four, we have Flame Caps. Now, Flame Caps recently have been nerfed. They will now share a cooldown with potions, which of course they did not, and you could use a potion and a Flame Cap, which would be a massive buff. However, this is a big nerf because now you have to choose one or the other. This, of course, will cause flame caps to decrease in price, but flame caps are still quite a nice item, but now they're going to be less powerful. All right, moving on to number five, we have dual spec is free. What is with that? Yes, that's right. Dual spec was free, but only for a few hours once servers were live, and then they removed the option to get dual spec in order to stop players from getting dual spec for free on all of their characters. Now, now, if you were one of the lucky few to get dual spec for free on all your characters, big congrats to you for hopping on that opportunity. If not, it looks like you'll have to do it the old fashioned way, like me, because I was too slow. I didn't believe it at first, and then when I finally got around to doing it, they had already disabled it by that time. Not a big deal, though. All right, moving on to number six, we have Emblems of Conquest have finally been added to the game. That's right, you can start collecting them right now. You don't have to wait for Ulduar. Heroic Daily Quests reward emblems emblems of conquest. So every single day this week, you can start getting those emblems of conquest, which is going to be valuable because you can get your best in slot tier eight items with your emblems of conquest. You can also get other items that are very powerful, maybe not bis, but very strong with emblems of conquest. Not to mention, you can also buy ruined orbs with them. So there's always value to having emblems of conquest. And in addition, you can also get emblems of conquest from heroic plus dungeons because at the end of a heroic plus there will be a bag that is filled with emblems of conquest and you can do as many heroic plus dungeons a day as there are dungeons and so if you really wanted to you can farm quite a few of emblems of conquest if you do heroic plus world tours every single day to get as many emblems of conquest as you can possibly get of course you have to win the role do it with guildies whatever your plan is all right moving on to number seven we have the nax skip you can go straight to saffron and kelthu 
through Zod now as of phase two, which is actually going to be very, very helpful for players looking to get the Immortal and Undying achievements. The Immortal and Undying achievements do still require you to clear the entire raid, every single raid boss without anyone dying during any of the boss encounters in a single lockout, but that can now be done in any order. So players can choose to now do Saffron and Kel'Thuzad first, which you could argue are harder than most other bosses, more likely to kill players than the others, to know whether or not to sink more time into trying to get Immortal Undying based on if anyone died during the Saffron or Kel'Thuzad encounters. If you get those two bosses out of the way, you might be much more likely to do the rest, and so that's kind of a nice new addition for those who are still trying to get Immortal or Undying. Coming in at number eight, NPCs that steal your gold. Yes, that's right. There are NPCs that steal your, your gold. They are called the Saranite Mind Slaves. Players are reporting on the World of Warcraft forums while doing a quest known as Slaves to Saranite that it is currently bugged. After a player interacts with the Saranite Mind Slave, they're out 500 gold, which is crazy because many players were doing this quest not even realizing that every time they interacted with a Saranite Mind Slave, they were losing 500 gold and at the end of it had lost thousands of gold, which of course is very, very uh, unfortunate for them, but kind of funny that these Saranite slaves <laughs> end up stealing people's gold. Here we have some comments that I thought were pretty funny. Matthew said, I just started doing my daily rounds and when I got to the slaves of Saranite daily, I heard the gold sound when I attempted to rescue one. After a few tries, I became suspicious something was wrong because I was missing 5,000 gold. I did one more rescue and saw that each slave you interact with takes 500 gold from you. I am currently missing 5,500 gold. WTF, I want my money back. That is absolutely hilarious. Unfortunate for that player, but so funny that these Sirenite mind slaves stole their gold as they were being rescued. Absolutely hilarious. And our final update, if you purchase a new six month subscription, you will get a bonus to both World of Warcraft Retail, Dragonflight, as well as Wrath Classic. For Dragonflight, there is Jade the Bright Force here, which is a new mount that you can get, kind of looks cool. And there's also Hoplet, which is a non-combat pet for Wrath Classic. Also, if you purchased the year subscription previously when that was offered, you will also be getting these bonuses as well. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.